All right, folks. So what's the verdict on what we just drafted and drank for the deck? It was blue-green, quote-unquote, merfolk, because we were running a lot of merfolk, because that's blue-green's tribe, but we really were minimal on merfolk synergies. I'm pretty sure we didn't have a single merfolk's matter card in the deck, which might be for the best. Who knows? I'm not sure how I feel about merfolks as a tribe. They're not as exciting or splashy as dinosaurs or pirates. Maybe even not as pushed, but there's definitely some power there. The deck was pretty sweet. It was value-oriented, and it had inevitability with Shapers of Nature, Waker of the Wilds, and Entrancing Melody getting better and better because you can sink more and more mana into them. And then the two Colossal Dreadmaws just were a solid finisher and had reasonable tempo plays and reasonable um, ways to filter through the deck. So I think the deck ended up being just fine. I'm a little higher on it than typical because I'm pretty sure we were in the right color pair based on where we were sitting. I think we found what was open and moved into it pretty well and we even got paid off for our pack one pick one bomb. We got super late shapers and super late waker so ended up being ended up being pretty sweet. As for the beer off of the beaten path two is my favorite beer that we've had on the show so far. It has a real complexity to its flavor. It starts off kind of sour, but at the same time, it's got this malty kick. So some sips will kind of have you puckering like, mm, yeah, I taste the, the wild yeast. But other times, it's just kind of this refreshing, malty, almost pale ale. So it's got a, it's a, the flavor kind of evolves with you, and it's also a very balanced flavor. And uh, it's pretty dry. I really, really enjoyed it. Because the flavor had so much going on, I actually marinated some steak with this uh, and some soy sauce and salt and pepper. That can be kind of deal. I like to have a lot of beer with my with my meals. So I was really impressed with the flavor of this one. If you get a chance to get out there and try this, this is the kind of beer that you want to bring to a barbecue. You want to share with other people so they get a chance to try it. So get out there and try off the beaten path too. 